Samuel L. Jackson made how much from Marvel movies? Samuel L. Jackson is an American actor and producer who has acted in over 150 films. He's one of the highest paid performers in history, with his films grossing more than $16.7 billion worldwide, excluding cameo appearances. The box office receipts for Samuel L. Jackson's films have averaged $89.9 million. He earns 10 to 20 million for a single important role in a blockbuster show. Hello everyone and welcome to another video on our channel. In today's video, we're going to discuss Samuel L. Jackson made how much from Marvel movies? So stay tuned to find out. Now let's start our video. Samuel is paid four to six million dollars for every appearance in a Marvel film as Nick Fury. According to sources, Samuel L. Jackson's net worth is estimated to be 250 million dollars. Aside from that, his partnerships with businesses such as Capital One, Apple, and Adidas net him roughly 10 million dollars yearly. Samuel L. Jackson's net worth also includes the property he and his wife own in the United States, valued at roughly 30 million dollars. Samuel Leroy Jackson was born in Washington, D.C. on December 21st, 1940 to Elizabeth Harriet and Roy Henry Jackson. He was born in Chattanooga, Tennessee and reared there. His father lives in Kansas City, Missouri, far from his family. He died as a result of excessive alcohol consumption. Jackson had only met him twice before. His mother, a factory worker who later became a mental hospital supply buyer, and his maternal grandparents, Edgar and Pearl Montgomery, an extended family, nurtured him. He attended several colleges before graduating from Riverside High School in Chattanooga. He enrolled at Morehouse College in Atlanta, Georgia to study marine biology. After joining a local acting group for extra credit in a class, Jackson became interested in acting. He decided to change his major. Jackson was charged with unlawful detention, a second-degree felony, and was found guilty. He was also sentenced to a two-year suspension. He eventually proceeded to college and graduated in 1972 with a Bachelor of Arts in Drama. While on suspension, he worked as a social worker in Los Angeles. Jackson earned roles in several plays and television films before moving from Atlanta to New York in 1976. He spent the next 10 years on stage performing. Spike Lee discovered Jackson after seeing him in A Soldier's Play in 1981, and he went on to cast him in minor roles in his films School Days, 1988, and Do the Right Thing, 1989. During this period, Jackson also fought heroin and cocaine addictions, eventually entering and completing rehab. He's appeared in several iconic franchises, most notably as Jedi Master Mace Windu in George Lucas' Star Wars universe, and as director Nick Fury in Marvel's Cinematic Universe. He first requested that Marvel Comics model their ultimate version of Nick Fury's persona after him. Pulp Fiction, 1994, Jack Brown, 1997, Django Unchained, 2012, and Hateful Eight, 2013 are among his films with filmmaker Quentin Tarantino. Jackson has also provided voice work for several animated films, including The Incredibles in 2004 and its sequel Incredibles 2 in 2018, Star Wars The Clone Wars in 2008, and Turbo in 2010. If you're liking this content so far, please consider subscribing and liking this video. Now let's continue. His highest grossing films, according to Box Office Mojo, are Avengers Endgame 2019, which grossed $803,395,591 worldwide, and Avengers Infinity War in 2018, which grossed $678,815,482 worldwide, the Avengers 2012, which grossed $623,357,910 worldwide, Incredibles 2 in 2018, which grossed $608,581,750. $44 worldwide, and Captain Marvel in 2019. In the 1990s, Jackson appeared in more films than any other actor. By 2011, Jackson's films had grossed between $2.81 and $4.91 billion in North America. This made him the franchise's sixth highest grossing lead actor and second highest grossing actor, trailing only voice actor Frank Welker. According to the 2009 edition of the Guinness World Records, Jackson is the highest grossing actor in the world, having earned $7.42 billion from 68 films. Jackson's most well-known endorsement deal is with Capital One, which earns him an annual salary in the eight figures. Adidas, Brioni, and Apple have all featured him in advertising. Between June of 2016 and June of 2017, he earned $30 million from his many endeavors, making him among the top 15 highest-paid actors. Samuel L. Jackson, a member of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, responds to big-name filmmakers like Francis Ford Coppola's criticism of Marvel flicks. While these films have a devoted audience and would not be as successful without them, some of Hollywood's most prominent figures have harshly attacked them. All films are valid, Jackson stated. Jackson remarked that just because one member of an audience favors a superhero film over a more serious film doesn't imply that everyone else does. Some go to the movies to be moved deeply, as mentioned. Some folks like superheroes. 
Of course, having worked on both sides, Jackson has a unique perspective on the film industry. In addition to his roles in major franchises, such as the Marvel Cinematic Universe and Star Wars, Jackson has appeared in several Oscar-nominated films. Jackson married Latanya Richardson, an actress and Sports Channel producer, in 1980. They met at Morehouse College in Atlanta and have one daughter, Zoe, who was born in 1982. Well, that's all for today's video. Tell us in the comment section how this video was. I hope that you found this one interesting. You can subscribe and watch more videos on our channel to keep up with more content. We'll see you in the following video with some more notable celebrities, facts, and stories. And until then, stay tuned.